Hi, hello. No. Hi. My project name is Python Library for Real Time Data Visualization. My name is Claudia Diosan. I live in Lleida. And right now I'm studying for a course in computer engineering at the University of Lleida. Now I will present the, the project goals. First, the idea was to create a Python library for real-time data visualization. But um, then, after one month, I started implementing for the Android application with a node OTS API and talking with the mentors. I, I decided to, to let only the, the API application and not, not doing the Python library. Also, I, I have created a web interface to create to interact with the little galaxy that gets all the data from the Noli API, API and an Android application to manage all the data to forms. Now I will present the workflow, documentation and the possibilities. First, I will present to the, the workflow. ¿Puedes? Well, first, in the sí. first, in the work logo, I, I, I present all for month, in month. I have structured the month. First, for month, I, I didn't, first month, I, I didn't put all day what I had done all day. Because it was more like a investigation work. I I was looking. No, there is a problem. Wait, moment, that they are. No, it's okay. Okay, it's a problem. And finally, I have two repositories, for one for the Node API, uh, API, one for the web interface, and the Android solution for your application. I will show you uh, each of one, each of them. This is the API application. Here is the first page and are some, some instructions about how to install it. And we also have the wiki page where I, I explain and I give more details about the wiki structure, the uh, mobile application and how to how to put data or how to test it with the postman.
then I have the GitHub repository of the web interface. It is the same, the same thing. First, I have a first page, page of with me with all the information about how to install it. And then the wiki page with information about project structure, where we can see all the pages that include the application and some screenshot of the of the each, each page. <laughs> and then uh, the info I said that I use this to implement the application. And finally, I have the Android Social Care application repository. That this is the same thing like the other, the, the, just like the other. I will present now the project's main functionalities. First, I will present the now the API. I have three models. Well, I have to say that this application is more social, it's like a social application that you can see the, the homeless people in the little galaxy, all the homeless people and information about his location, his life history and what, what the most important thing. And as a don, and you can see the donors and the volunteers for each city, I have two cities, I have Gaeta, Barcelona in New York, just for the demo. And like models, I have donors, volunteers, and helpers. And now I will show you the calls to the API. For the donors, you can create and save a new donor, get a donor by ID, get all the donors from one city, then get all the donors from the database, delete the donor, or edit it. For the helpless model, I have the same the same calls, and for the volunteers, the same. The viewport is a web interface. I already showed the structure before. I have a home page that it just includes uh, a little information about the project. The cities page that includes three cities, Diego, Barcelona and New York. If you go to one city, you will see four, four buttons, homeless, donor, volunteers, and one for the transaction that we show you, shows you a bubble in the little galaxy with all the, how many donors are in the city, how many homeless, and how many volunteers, and more statistics. Then I have a about page that includes information about the application and the support team. Then in the navigation bar I have a statistic tool, button that uh, shows you the global statistics. I always I have a demo, a, a button tool on the toolbar that gives you a tour um, in the three cities showing all the helpless homeless people and one homeless people with specific information. Then I have the details page that shows you a table with all homeless, all donors, all, all volunteers and you can, you can put to see a bubble with information about each one and the orbit function. Uh, the Google Assistant integration here with the Eric's API would have to start a demo should all the homeless from a city given the name and city and bubble with information of one homeless. But for now, for today, it is not it's not working because I implemented all the part of webhook or dialog flow, but I can get the data from my API. I, I can find the error. Then I will present the Android application. I have three main pages. Volunteers, donors, and homeless. Each page contains a form that allows the user to create a new role or editing an existing one. I have to say that first, in the first month, I had a 
another structure of this Android application. It was like this one, that a user could register and like donor or like volunteer and you are just like that you can see all the donors and give help and if you register as uh, as as donor no as volunteer sorry you, if you register as volunteer you can manage all the all the homeless and create new new homeless or edit existing but after I implement already the interface well and I have the API. I thought that for this project is better like this. Because the other one is more in the real real world that real user can register and can can, can manage the things. For this for this project I just only made three pages, volunteer, donor and homeless and you, own, you can create a new volunteer, donor or homeless or you can edit the existing one and it will be edit in the repair. But, like personal opinion, I have to say that this experience was an amazing experience. I, I learned a lot of things and I, I saw uh, how how you can work in the in the real world because honestly before I I started this experience I didn't know what uh, know the API is only what I, I learned in the university and these three months I, I find I found a lot of things that I I couldn't make and I had to look for tutorials, search for information and it helped me a lot. Because because I I, I know more, more things no. And if I would start again the project, I would be more strict with myself, and I would like to work hard because I think all of us in the first month we we, we think that that's okay. I have time. I have two months make two months more. But but when you when you just get into the final you realize that if you would work better in the first month you would have you would have done more things now and also i have to i have to say thanks to andreo because not to, not to, be to everyone because to everyone to to eric, to the, and eric. to the and, yes, yes, and to the guys <laughs> with eric um, marcel albert and Ivan, of course because so many times I, I get stuck and they, they help me a lot. But, but and you, I, ha I you will... have a still, you have to make a demo. <laughs> and now the I real demo. The demo. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna stop presenting the back slides for a second. Are you using the camera, guys? Hello? I hope so. Yes, okay, huh? you can go. Okay, well, I won't show you the home page and the above page because you already saw it on the presentation and you can see it here. I will see this. Like I said, I have three cities, Jada, Barcelona, and New York. We can go to Diego. We go to Diego and here we have four buttons. Homeless, donors, volunteers and transaction. And if I want to see all the, all the homeless, I can see the icons with all the homeless. And here, I don't know if you, if you can see, I have a table with all the homeless from from here. The number now are 36 homeless, and I can see the icons and the names of each one. I have on the right side on each name two buttons. One for want to see a bubble with with information. We can see the name, birth year, life history, 
most important need and shadow. For example, he is, she is here in this location Monday and Wednesday, Wednesday from 8 to 1 if you, if you want to go there and, and help her. Then you can have the, the orbit button that I use it to orbit and you can see the, the, the place. <coughs> We can stop the, the, the orbit. Now I will go to Barcelona. Here I will show the, like I showed the homeless before, I will show numbers. It seems like we have an internet problem. <laughs> but if we Want to see a bowel with information, of course. We can see donation type. For example, he donated hygiene products to a volunteer. And also we have the program. And finally we have New York. We will go to New York. Here I will show you the volunteers. Yeah. Yes, you can see the volunteers. Yeah. I only can see, well, that's a connection problem because I only can see the homeless here. In the, but if we go to C1 homeless, we can see the name, birth year, and the city. And always we can look here. Then I have for each city. I will show in New York, we have transactions that will show a bubble with statistics. We can see that we have 32 homeless people that need help. Needs, four of them need food, seven clothes, four need works, eight lodging, and nine hygiene products. Well, the same, then the same information for donors and volunteers. And finally, we have a statistics, a global statistics volume that shows us the statistics from the three cities together. And that's all. I will I have a demo, I will let the demo meanwhile. And and that's all. If you have any questions. Hey. Almost everything has worked, so congratulations. Yes. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it should work. I don't know what happens. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a something related it's to the it. internet or the internet. Yeah, yeah. But it it's working now. Yes, now it's working. Yep, that's oh, perfect. Goodness. That's perfect. So, questions from the mentors or students on the meet? Any question, guys? I have one more thing to say. I have more things to say, yes. please. Go home. <laughs> if I would have more time, I. I would like to implement it the, for each homeless in bubble, show a real photo with, with, with the, a real photo for each one, for donors, volunteers or homeless, but of course that's a lot of information, a lot of photos, and I actually don't need it. The demo works pretty nice, shows everything and goes yes. to places. The demo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the demo, show, show, press again the yes. demo button. Oh, no, it, it's still no, working. It's, working. it's still working. Okay. So, uh, as, as your mentor, I have to say that you have worked pretty hard, but I yes. really appreciate the words you start your conversation, because as I told all the students, you think that three months is a plenty of time, and that's yes. not correct. I tell you every year, and that's the eighth year in a row I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, because the first month, first month we think, that's no, okay. You have we to have work to hard since the beginning. <laughs> you have to work hard since yes. the beginning. If not, you will not be able to, to approach. So, any opinion from the audience? Any comment? Just go. I, I have a qu question. Yes. Uh, so, okay, so the library is specific to homeless people data, or is it generic data that I would like to present, like geolocation specific data that I would like to map on to a visualization in the galaxy? Is that the goal of the library? No, I don't understand. 
Okay, the library, the yes. feature for, of the library, basically to sum it up, is yes. to show, to visualize data that yes. is about the geolocation. Yes. And any data. Well, three, three types of data, volunteers, homeless, and, and non -homeless. Okay, okay, and this could be extended to visualize any yes. data? Yes, of course, and you can change it to, well, you have to change the API yeah, because right now it only has three models, but if you add more models, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. because the API is separately from, from the web interface, and then you can change it. Okay, and uh, what is your... What was the decision-making process on uh, choosing Node.js versus Python? And Python, I, I, I think you mean Python. Well, so. I have to say that this is my first API. I never saw API before, mm -hmm. only in the university. But there, I only saw theory. theory. I didn't saw anything else. I didn't make an API before. And I talked to the guys, to, and to Andre, and they they told me that it's better with you. To start. Okay, and the last question is, so you showed like a, a log, a like word log, Did, uh, is it a common practice also to, to work with Kanban structures to basically set those log items into different states and then track them to different states like a, like a Kanban work uh, style? No, I don't okay. I have a, no, tell me again. Kanban is, is a methodology developed. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. So, uh, commonly used to basically track status information of log items in the ah, no, I don't know. I have and there are things that support it. Yes. Okay. Any question from the meet? Remotely? Andrew? Or whatever people is there? Guys? No? Mark? No? Okay, so thank you very much. Okay. We are just some time.